Hey everyone, this is a clip from a recent episode of the Men of Steel podcast, where we talk about Superman and Superman adjacent topics. If you enjoy this clip, check out the podcast. You can find it at certainpov.com or wherever you get your shows. There are games that have had the right idea. Like I still wish that the Brandon Routh Superman game, Superman Returns, like it, your health was the city's life, right? Like as the city got destroyed, that was your health bar. It's yeah. a good idea that didn't mm -hmm. work. Yeah. But it's a good idea. And so like, I feel like, this game just giving you a health bar and kind of not overthinking that side of it and making it video gamey but otherwise you kind of feel like superman i think is really interesting and honestly it's why i don't feel that bad using game genie codes because superman is <laughs> sort of invulnerable but yeah. you still get knocked down you still get hit like and that's that's superman in the comics right he's not unhittable he's not untouchable he's just invulnerable he still feels the pain he still gets knocked into walls and thrown around and beaten up you know i mean i think about the old tim daly cartoon and i say old now because it has been a while at this point but he got <laughs> his, but, but he has got he got his ass kicked in that show sometimes like beaten yeah. constantly but what still the, the thing that made him superman was that he got back up absolutely right that's actually what i was going to bring up especially with justice league and justice league unlimited they had a basic tenet that Superman was allowed to get knocked down, but he always had to get up and like hit whatever knocked him down in the first place. Like they could warf affect him, but he always still had to be the one to like get the actual like win shot in if that was the if that was the case. Yeah. Absolutely. Superman was never the one of like the grand strategist or the the martial arts master, but he could get up. And it made it, it was a very believable thing of you can see this invulnerable Titan get knocked down, but just as believable that he's going to come back. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I didn't mind it so much at the time when, when this came out, it just was like, oh yeah, well that's how video games work. You have a life bar. Like right. that's right. What and it definitely do. smacks of that where it was, there's all these little cool, I guess, innovations or keys to the character, but changing something up that fundamentally with no roadmap was probably like, I don't know. Cause yeah, I can believe that Superman can go around punching street thugs. If he were, wanting to go around punching street thugs <laughs> and not kill them because he pulls his punches. But you tell me a chainsaw is going to take him down? That's the, that's where I'm going to start questioning your logic oh, maybe, about how this yeah. could work. <laughs> maybe it was a kryptonite chainsaw. Think about that. Lex no. Luthor would not <laughs> be <laughs> handing out kryptonite chainsaws to street thugs. This is not the gang that he funded. Maybe it was inner gang. How about that? <laughs> well, I was about to say inner gang would be a good yeah. excuse, especially for the eradicator levels. I mean, like this game could have gotten around it just by its selection of who to fight. And that's where yeah. it's like kind of the generic yeah. thugs are kind of the annoying part yeah. there. Yeah. It's like the first two levels are you. Well, first three levels, pardon me. Are you uh, first fighting the, the underworlders, which they had some stuff like Kloster, while he's not in the same caliber. Superman is like a big imposing threat and like mm -hmm. you'd be fine with seeing him like knock Superman around a little bit like mm -hmm. I would have worked okay and they had like war world weapons like that was like its own like plot thread that had already been set up and then Doomsday like Doomsday supposed to be able to knock Superman around so like those levels where you're fighting Doomsday that part is good it's just like well it's weird that the wrecking ball that is just dropping up and down <laughs> this <laughs> this like section of a construction site you're in is also hitting both you and Doomsday and like actually doing some damage right and then later, like, you know, when you're fighting Cadmus, it's not that weird that they'd have some weapons that would actually work against Superman. And it's, you know, when you're fighting all uh, the world world stuff later in the game, that also makes sense. So, like, mm -hmm. if it had been like inner gang and it had been set up as like, here's like some Jack Kirby esque kind of weapons that are like from Dark Side or something. It would have fit fine. And then Superboy actually is vulnerable to fire and is a little bit weaker and it would make sense. And same for Steel. Like Steel actually has a whole plot thread in the comics with the um, what is it? The Toastbusters or the uh, the Toastmakers. Yeah. Like those guns actually would have worked just fine for setting up like characters as being like vulnerable to to those weapon attacks. So they could have pulled just a little bit more detail from the comics and gotten there. Remember, if you like the clip after you're done liking and subscribing, check out certainpov.com where you can find more episodes of the show as well as a ton of other great shows.